Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Chris here with a brand new tutorial for you guys on how to add add-ons to your servers for the Rust server experimental servers. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you guys seen in the last tutorial, if you guys haven't, there will be an annotation or um, a note card which will show up as an eye on your screen right now. Click it and look at our last tutorial. You can get to the step we are at now. We have currently set up our server, but it is not public yet. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to get plugins. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing you guys want to do is open up whatever internet browser you guys are using. In this tutorial, I am going to be using Google Chrome. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Um, uh, now type in oxidemod.org. Now this is what you're going to be using. There is other uh, methods as well, other programs to use for tutorial or for this tutorial purpose. But Oxide Mod is my personal favorite. I believe there this is the only one that supports Rust Experimental and Rust Legacy. But for this tutorial, we're doing Rust as it is the main rust not rust legacy I may do a tutorial if you guys want me to in the description let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on rust legacy as well because that's still a branch that's out there and still a thing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be brought up to this page here now with the first thing you want to do is go to downloads click downloads it'll bring you to the page where you can download oxide now as you as you guys may notice when I download it there will be a one beside it it's because or a eight seven I've downloaded it seven times because I run as you guys know my own server with the information in the description you guys can join it but uh, I run my own server and uh, oxide updates every now and then so you will need to continuously download the latest version of oxide simply by going to this page every time there's a new oxide update but if you don't want to go to the latest version of oxide that's completely fine you can just download it run it install it into your server but some plugins may and or may not work because they need the newest version of oxide so Oxide is your modding program that, or modding exterior thing that you guys are going to need to use. So this is the main part of um, plugins and this is what you guys will need for plugins. So for the sake of this video, I already have the start.bat. I believe you guys do too. So if you have the underscore start dash example dot bat, no need to copy that. Just simply hit, uh, just copy all this, hit control, click on the Rust de uh, dedicated underscore data, copy it. Let it copy. Like I said, you guys will need RenRAR. Link is in the description as well as Notepad++. I'll show you guys where you guys can get that in this tutorial because I don't believe I have it installed on this PC as of right now. But anyways, let's load it up. You want to copy those files, paste it in your, Ace, uh, your C drive Rust server. Wherever your server is located, just paste it in there. It'll ask you if you want to replace some files. Just replace it. Replace everything. Now you've officially added the Oxide plugin. So what it did was basically add some resources into the Manage folder, I believe. And yeah, right here, all this is just added, all the oxide stuff that you'll need. So that's pretty much what that is. So what you'll need to do to determine if you've added it or not is we'll close this and we'll double click on the start example dot bat. Now with this starting up, it does take a while like I showed you guys in the last tutorial. So I'm going to pause the video. We'll get back to you guys when it's loaded up and how you guys can determine on what version you are running of oxide and if oxide is installed properly. So as you guys may be able to see here, it says loading oxide core V and it tells you your version here. This is the pre part where you can determine whether you have the newest version or not through here as well. It It'll load all these um, extensions and it'll say it's by the oxide team oxide team oxide team and everything like that so it started up on Archon which is good like I said you guys will need Archon to be on port 28016 so I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you guys when the server is up and running alright guys it is finished loading and this is the one way you can determine on if there is oxide in your server it'll tell you the oxide version right here oxide 2.0.2152 for 942.65 now this is the updated version of oxide that you'll need so um, if it does update in the future you'll need to get the newer version and the newer version and the newer version so on and so on and so on so now what you guys will need to do to get plugins is simply go to the oxide.org website as the top here you guys can see plugins you'll want to click on that that'll load up the plugins page now as a disclaimer if the plugins aren't working or nothing's working please do not comment below if your plugin is not working anymore I do not um, care for the plugins as in I do not like basically I'm not support for the plugins there's hundreds and hundreds there's like 712 plugins and 
some of them work, some of them don't. Just notify the uh, notify the developer of the plugin, and they will help you, or someone in the community will help you. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna find a plugin here. Uh, for the sake of this, um, I'm gonna get a simple one that everyone likes to use, and it's the most downloaded one, I believe, or one of the most downloaded plugins that you can get in its kits. So this is the one you guys. If you guys want to start off with kits, which gives uh, players uh, slash they type slash kit whatever, and you can set up kits and everything. So all you'll need to do is there's a fancy download button. You may need to log into Steam. Um, I believe you do need to log into Steam. So just log into Steam and it should load up and show a download button here. You'll download now. It'll start downloading it, and these plugins get updated as you guys can see. It was last updated Saturday at 12:53 p.m. So you'll always need to update your plugins. Um, sometimes there's major bug fixes or sometimes there's just a hot fix for a plugin that's nothing really big or nothing really intense that you really need to switch over but if you want to stay up to date switch over so anyways you want to copy it you want to go down here you want to copy the kits copy right here kits and mine says kits uh, bracket 4 don't worry about that you just want to go to your rust server now this is where I told you guys in the last tutorial it's gonna make a server file where your identity of your server is and like I said if you guys haven't seen that it's at the top right of your YouTube video screen there's an I click on it and watch the previous video so this is our server identity folder YouTube server you wanna go in there go to oxide go all the way into plugins and you wanna paste it there the cool thing about oxide is I'm gonna rename mine because it won't work if it's not the correct name so we're gonna go back the cool thing about oxide in rust is you can load it in instantly as you guys can see here the file name is incorrect and could not be loaded now it's loaded in now because I've changed the file name so if I go if I cut it and then I go to oxide now this is you guys don't need to do this this is just what I'm doing just to show you guys an example and I load it in it'll load it boom loaded in kits it's already loaded so it'll tell you what's loaded in and everything and also the permissions now a lot of people are saying it might say oh I don't have the permissions for this and stuff well you need to look and read each individual plugin is different they may have but you may have to give yourself permissions and stuff so you'll need to do that alright guys so now you've added your plugin and that's pretty much it to add plugins I mean it's very simple very easy like I said I don't want to get too in depth of it because um, there's not really much in depthness of it if you know coding and stuff like that you guys can edit your plugins and such um, the one thing you guys will need to know is once you guys add your plugins it'll you go to uh, here once you add your plugins some of them will tell you if there's a config file now this is where the config file is and this is why you should use notepad plus plus edit with notepad plus plus and then you can open up and there's a bunch of code in here that you guys can sniff through if you know what you're doing you guys can go through and edit some stuff and uh, code some things in here and it'll work perfectly fine so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like on it if you like my tutorials and my content make sure you guys subscribe thank you guys for watching this video I'm DJ Chris aka Chris and I will see you guys in the next video <laughs>